Step number six in the 10 step process is contrast. Now, what does it exactly mean by contrast? The word contrast means difference. And in terms of photography, that difference is between the dark and the bright areas of the photograph. Uh, it, it's a difference between the shadow areas and the highlight areas of the photograph. Now, if if our photograph lacks contrast, it means that there is the there is no strong highlights and there is no strong shadows. There is no strong dark areas. There is no strong bright areas in a photograph, which means that most of our photograph lies within the mid tones, and it's it's going to be that would mean that the photograph is going to be a little bit dull, and it's going to appear a little bit on the on the flat side. So, in order for us to fix that, we will need to increase the contrast. Now, before I show you how to increase contrast on this photograph, let me just go ahead and apply the first five points to this. So, what was point number one? Point number one was camera profile. So, camera profile, I will just go ahead and make that camera vivid because that's the one that I prefer. Uh, the next step in this was the white balance. The white balance looks pretty okay to me. If I look at the clouds, they are a pretty neutral gray. So I'm not going to touch white balance. I, I might just go ahead and try what it does to with auto. Uh, no, this makes it look a little bit warm. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it back to as short. This looks a lot more neutral to me. Now, what was step number three? Step number three was exposure. Now, exposure needs a little bit of work. If you take a look at the histogram, there is some clipping happening on the shadow side. And if you take a look at the photograph, it is looking a little bit dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and increase the, uh, bring out some of the detail in the shadow areas. I'm just going to bring the shadow slider to make the shadows a little bit brighter. I'm just going to also go ahead and increase the blacks so that I can get rid of this clipping. But even after doing that, I don't think it's doing a lot. So uh, I have all the detail uh, that I need. Uh, okay, so in this step, if you notice what we're doing with these four sliders, the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks, we are actually brightening up the dark areas and we if there was any clipping happening on this side, we would be darkening up the highlight areas. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I just get a little bit more detail in these bright areas. Now, when I'm darkening the bright areas and I'm brightening the dark areas, I'm actually decreasing contrast. And that is going to make the photograph look uh, a little bit duller. It's going to make it appear flat. And, and, this is exactly what we need to fix when we talk about point, uh, step number six, which is to increase the contrast. So in, in, in the step where we're talking about exposure, we end up decreasing contrast and we do that in order to bring out detail from the photograph. But uh, when we are bringing out that detail, it ends up decreasing the contrast. So we need to bring it back and we bring it back in this step number six. And we do that with the help of this slider, which we had left uh, earlier, which we hadn't touched earlier. So now we're going to touch that and we're going to increase that. So I'm just going to go ahead and increase it uh, slightly on the higher side. So for you to see what, what it does to the, to the photograph. Oh, I forgot to add clarity and vibrance. So let me just go ahead and do that first. So uh, it is, that's what I was thinking. Why, why was this photograph missing its punch? So let me just go ahead and add clarity. So, uh, okay, so see, there you go. The, the punch that clarity adds, we need to add that before we move on to contrast. So uh, clarity a little bit and then vibrance a little bit. Okay, so that brings out the colors. Uh, now let's move on to contrast. So I, I'm just going to go ahead and increase contrast a little bit on the higher side so that you can see what it does. Uh, so let me just go ahead and uh, click on the midpoint here and I'll do that. Okay. So do you see that, uh, the, the, pho the, the photograph had become duller because we had adjusted these four sliders in the step where we were adjusting the exposure. But when we add contrast back, it just, uh, gets the, uh, a little bit of the punch back. And in some cases, you might think that, you know, okay, so the dark areas are becoming a little bit too dark. So I can just go ahead and uh, move the shadow slider again and move the black slider again. So, so as to bring out a little bit more detail from those dark areas. But 
even after that if i just take the contrast back to zero you can see uh, it this is making the photograph look a little bit dull and this just adds the punch back so uh, in this step we would just go ahead and increase the contrast now what amount is the right amount there is no hard and fast rule but again i would recommend for you to stick to stick between 30 and 50 and depending on the photograph depending on the inherent contrast in the photograph you will vary this accordingly so uh, step number six was contrast in in the next step we'll take a look at step number seven see you there